Hey Nathan here, welcome back to another tutorial for Unity 2D. Last tutorial we discussed how to create a prefab and that led us into this tutorial where we are going to discuss spawning objects. Uh, this is going to be a very quick tutorial. I have a little bit of a sore throat going on so I apologize if my voice is going to be a little bit off. Okay, so in this tutorial we are going to discuss spawning objects. We are going to need to use a prefab to do this. I added the bullet paper sprite from the space shooter assets that down you are able to download for each of my tutorials. So when you download that, not only add your player paper to this project, but add the bullet paper as well. Alright, so I'm going to make this prefab like what we did in the last video. So I'm going to drag this into the hierarchy. Now I'm going to call this just bullet. Now I'm going to drag bullet down to the assets and that makes it a prefab. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete bullet. And I'm actually going to change the background to be white in this example. Not that color. White. There we go. Because the bullet was black and it didn't look well on that blue background. Okay, so now if we hit play uh, I added my movement script. I renamed it to player. It is not restricting the movement past the game bounds. So this is the script for the movement. You can add the restricted script if you want. I just got the player script on here. Okay. So now that we have a prefab, we need to adjust our script. I'm going to launch Visual Studio. And we want to fire that script whenever we press the space key. And we only want to fire it once. Alright, so let's get things ready for instantiating. We need to actually have a reference to our prefab. So I'm going to make this a public game object. Uh, let's just call this bullet. Okay, now if we go back to Unity. And if we load up our player here. We can see bullet here. Now I'm going to drag this bullet over to the player script. So now the bullet prefab is linked to the player script. All right. So now if we go back to the code, for this tutorial, we're only going to fire one bullet whenever we press our space key. If we press it and hold it down, it's only going to fire one bullet. We'll set up some kind of timer later on in the series that will repeat the process and we'll go from there. Uh, Unity does have a repeater functionality in it that you can start a repeating process to call a function and then stop the repeating process. But you'll have to work around it. We still need to have a timer. So when you press the space key, it spawns a repeater. When you release the space key or whatever key you want to use to uh, fire the object, when you release that, it will stop the repeater. But if you do that really fast, and you have like a five second delay, I already fired several bullets in that case. So what we need to do is we need to have a timer to where if we do this, it will still fire only once or twice, depending on how, many, how fast or how long you do that. So we still need to have timers. So I prefer to have my own timer for this. So we can, it will constantly be every update, no matter if we're pressing space or not. It will be constantly be adjusting the timer. Uh, we'll be using that, we'll set it at like five seconds or 10 seconds or whatever. And then every game loop, it will decrease the timer. So when it reaches zero, we can fire. And then when we fire, it will reset it back to whatever we have, 5, 10 seconds. And then it will adjust the timer, and then when it hits 0, we can fire again. Okay, so let's just actually spawn the object now. If input.getKeyDown. So getKeyDown is only fired on initial, on initial key press. If you press and hold, it will only fire once. So get key is when you hold the key down. So if I hold up here, I can move up while still holding down the up key. A get key down will only fire once, no matter if you hold it down for 
half a second or 20 seconds. So it will only fire that once. So get key down, key code dot space. I'm gonna use space, so you can use whatever you want. Okay, so now we're going to use the instantiate function. Uh, we're going to instantiate a bullet. So we're going to instantiate it to where our current player is. So this dot transform dot uh, position. And actually I can get rid of this. All right, so transform.position, that's where our current player object is. And now we want to rotate it. So I'm going to rotate it based on a Euler degrees. So X, Y, Z, I'm going to rotate it on the Z axis uh, 90. So 0, 0, 90. Okay, because I want that pointed up. As you see in the game, it's pointed horizontally. I want it pointed vertically. Okay, so actually, let's go ahead and run this and let's see what happens. So I'm pressing holding space and it only fired that one on the right. I release space, nothing happens. Press and hold, it only fired that one. And if you look on the left side, You can see all these bullet clones. Okay, so that is how to spawn an object. I uh, wanted to make this a very quick video. And uh, next video, we will actually extend on this. We're going to have a... Uh, we're going to discuss a rigid body 2D so we can actually move these objects and uh, kind of discuss a few things about rigid body. And uh, we'll come up with some kind of timer. So I'm actually going to slide in another tutorial for next weekend to kind of complement this tutorial, kind of extend this tutorial. So hopefully my voice will be better by then and uh, we'll go from there. So hopefully you got something out of this video. Uh, hopefully you are able to uh, do something in the meantime before next weekend happens. I might actually try to release the next one early since it's going to be a extra tutorial. So keep an eye out for that. Alright, so I hope to see you next time.